I'm gonna show you guys the old school method of bore sighting in a rifle without all those crazy lasers and other things that uh, box stores use. I've only been given 35 rounds to test with this crazy T-Rex killer, so I don't wanna waste a lot of ammo sighting this thing in. I wanna to try to do it within three to five shots if possible. Basically set you a box at about 25 yards. I think I got that one right at about 26 yards. And let me get positioned behind this rifle. And all you do is you line your bore up to the target like so. Hold on, let me lock that in again. Get a little bit closer. Okay. And as you can tell there, it's kind of off to the left. So I will sight that in. And then all you do is go up to your scope and see where it's aiming. And this is really super low. So let me do a couple of dial in adjustments and then I will show you the bore sight again. Okay, I've got this pretty close to locked in. If you will look down the bore again, you can see that it is centered there. Kind of, it's a little bit off to the left. And then peek up at the scope. And that is pretty dang close. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take a shot here at uh, 25 yards. And it should splash, at least I'm needing it to splash about three and a half inches low to get me dialed in at 100 yards. Let me set the camera down up at the target. So I'm actually just going to film from right here. The last time I shot a uh, caliber near this size, I didn't have enough ear protection, nor was I not wearing eye protection. And the uh, concussion was so bad that the gases blew out one of my contacts. So I made dang sure I'm ready for today. This is the first shot I've ever taken with this crazy T-Rex killer caliber. Let's see how good I am at bore sighting. Man, that is pretty excellent. I needed this to be three and a half inches low at 25 yards to get me at 100 yards. So let me go ahead and push this out to 52 yards and that'll be my 100 yard first zero plane 100. And it's probably gonna strike a little bit high but uh, let's not guess and actually get this on paper. That's pretty good for a second shot. Knew it was gonna go a little bit high. So all you do now is um, keep your crosshair absolutely locked into this target and dial towards the shot you made. Um, but you gotta make sure that your rifle's absolutely isolated and not moving. And it's usually have better to have two people here. But at 50 yards, this is basically gonna be eight clicks up. Make that 16 clicks up and probably eight to the left. Probably didn't get it on video, but you could literally see the grass behind it just exploding. So I was at seven here, landed at nine. Look at that uh, horizontal though, that's perfect horizontal. So all I basically got to do if I was seven, that was nine. I just need to turn it back down to eight and we'll be zero. And I'm not going to waste a fourth round to get that dialed in. This is definitely hog worthy. For my fourth shot, I want to see if I could actually capture a bullet. I've got four bottles filled with water and a steel plate. I have a theory that that plate's going to go blowing off of there, but let's find out. And here is the destruction. I believe this is the first one. Look at that. There's actually a piece of lead right there. That's pretty cool. I'll try to dig that out. And this is probably, look at that shot placement. Dang. Second, third. Let's see if there's any more lead. Dang, look at the egg look of that third one there. And it hit the plate. I don't know which side it was on, though. <laughs> I was trying to find the last piece. Check out the fence way over here. This is hilarious. <laughs> it blew that piece all the way over here. Stay tuned for my next hunting adventure, where I'll finally reveal this caliber.